Welcome to the tutorial of uh, Retina Engrave and how to both combine vector cutting and rastering uh, in one operation. So there's often times when you want to make something so uh, you want to cut out the border with the laser but you also want to engrave the surface. So here I've done a drawing uh, in Corel Draw and I've drawn a star. So this is a vector uh, representation of a star. I've added some text. So this FSE are the fonts. And here is a JPEG image. So I've imported a JPEG into Corel Draw and I placed it in the middle. So what I want to do is uh, I want to make this star object and I want to vector cut it and I also want to engrave on the surface this FSE. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the objects I want to cut and first I'm going to change it to hairline then I'm going to change the color and I'm going to select this cyan color and uh, the reason I do this is uh, I want to tell the program um, which layer goes where. So you always want to select a light color for the outline and it'll be apparent uh, why I do this shortly. So if I do file print I'm going to print it to the full spectrum engineering driver and um, I've already printed it so here is retina raster and as you can see by default, when it comes in, the size is 8.5 by 11. And you can see that the uh, font is here and also the bitmap, but the light color vector drawing is absent. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the threshold higher, so closer to the end, and you can see it starts to come in. Uh, the line is very thin, so that's why it appears dotted. but as soon as I hit this trim white space button, you see what happens is that it removed all the white space around the object and now the size is about 3 by 3 inches. So here I could just hit engrave and it would engrave it, but uh, this would take longer than necessary because it would start at the top left hand corner and it would engrave to the right and go back and forth and effectively you'll raster out this border. So it always starts at the top left and works its way down to the bottom right. When it finishes, it returns to the top left hand corner. Uh, so what I could do is, is I can adjust the threshold lower again. Now I've removed the border, but I've kept the size the same. So now if I hit engrave, it'll go directly to the top of this F, engrave it, and engrave the S, E, and this bitmap. Uh, don't hit the trim white space again because if you do, what happens is you can see it removes all the white space around and now it's 1.21 by 1.94 inches. So the reason for this is that it starts at the top left hand corner, mixes it the way down, and it goes back to the top left hand corner after it's finished. So if you did this, then you attempt to do a vector cut the vector cutting and the rastering would not be uh, aligned. So only hit it once and adjust the threshold to remove the border. So that was Retina Raster and uh, what I can do now is I open up Retina Vector and I hit File Print. You just hit Print but I've also done this already. So now when you hit print, you can see what happens in Retina Vector. The uh, flag in the middle is absent because that was a JPEG image and not a vector. Um, so we do have vector representations of the FSE and also of the outline of the star. Um, but I've already engraved the F, S, and E in Retina Raster. So what I'm going to do is hit zero for repeats and this will ignore the black lines and only cut out the cyan outline. So 
all you do is hit cut now and it would start cutting and it will cut in a way that the uh, rastered image you had previously operated will remain in the exact position relative to the vector cut. So after you're done, you'll have a nice star with uh, a US flag in the middle and the FSE in the corners all lined up.